So the PROPEL study is a phase three randomized trial taking patients in first line MCRPC, all comers, no biomarker predetermined eligibility criteria. We allowed patients to have had docetaxel in the pre MCRPC state, so in metastatic hormone sensitive. We allowed patients that had even significant pain to come into the study, and we allowed patients with visceral metastases to come into the study. So very a, a real world MCRPC first line study um, in about 800 patients randomized one to one between getting abiraterone and placebo versus abiraterone plus olaparib. And with a primary endpoint of radiographic progression free survival, and obviously secondary endpoints, very important, overall survival, time to subsequent therapy, time to second progression, adverse events, quality of life, uh, exact, uh, as you would expect for this kind of trial. So the results, um, basically uh, the primary endpoint was largely met, very statistically significant, and in my opinion, very clinically significant improvement in radiographic progression-free survival or death. That was a 34% reduction, which turned out to be over eight months improvement over abiraterone alone, which is considered one of the most widely used standard of care for first line MCRPC. Of note, that eight month improvement is basically identical to what we saw with abiraterone against a pure placebo. And so really, we're, I think we have something that really benefits patients with MCRPC to further improve their outcome with first-line therapy, which unfortunately is many times the only line of therapy patients get in MCRPC. Overall survival is still immature. We have less than 30% of the deaths that we need for maturity, but we're already starting to see a trend towards an improved overall survival. And we have other endpoints that encourage us that we're going in the right direction. Time to subsequent therapy was significantly prolonged in the combination arm. And time to second progression was also significantly prolonged in the combination arm. We had better overall response rate in those that had measurable disease. And in terms of adverse events, there was nothing unexpected from either drug used alone. And clearly we did not seem to see an increase in toxicity of either drug when combined together. And overall quality of life was maintained throughout the study. We never saw any significant difference or deterioration by adding olaparib to abiraterone. So overall, uh, I think this is a very positive and probably the first combination regimen that seems to clearly improve the outcome of patients in first-line MCRPC. And we clearly need to be improving on what we've been using as standard of care for several years.